And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some more legendary Lab of Legends action. Uh, I, I We're just taking like a short half day today in between our different rank up days. Tomorrow we're going to have Masters Monday where we will get to Masters. But let's do some labs here. Let's kind of take a, a fun day doing some labs. We're going to be playing Azir, continuing on our series, our series of trying to get a legendary run with all 20 champions we've done seven of them so far in this play playlist let's go ahead and continue on with azir so now with azir you have some different choices for some good powers and the one that i found to be the best or the one that i've had the most success with is yip's genius and that's probably no surprise yip's genius is a great great power it's gonna be one we're gonna choose for a good amount of champions because uh, not only do you have the four one cost cards you see here with dune keeper and marauder but all of the sand soldiers that you make are also going to be one cost so they will be plus two plus two as well and now when we go through the run whenever we're choosing different cards and everything we can look for for ways to get more one cost units because of the yep's genius power there's also another power that's pretty good that starts with one landmark from your deck immediately in play and so therefore it start with the sand swept sand swept tomb immediately in play and that power is pretty good, but I've had a lot more su success with the Yips Genius, especially when you get to um, the Piltover and Zon uh, region the, at the end of the run. It's really hard to, to have the Sandswept Tomb and then small units and be able to defeat the, um, the, the first two, the Professor Von Yip one and then the turrets after that. Those two are both really difficult um, regions where you have to play a lot of defense, you have to do a lot of blocking, and that extra size is really important. So let's go ahead and start off with the Yips Genius. Let's start our run. I'm not too worried about the first two, like getting through Shadow Isles, getting through Freljord with Azir and Yips Genius, pretty easy. It's tilt over and Zon gets real tough. Okay, so we're going to start with Doomkeeper and... Inspiring Chronomancer. It's not a bad blocker. You know, we're, we got the spiders. They're just all like little 1-1s. One so three health is good. And you want... I'll save Doomkeeper for round three. We don't need to attack right here. Because the pesky specter just goes away anyway. So we'll start with the Bloodthirsty Murata. And again, you can see there's a big difference between being at three health and being at one health. Or one health would just trade with the Spiderling. I'll take another Bloodthirsty Marauder. All right, we're back. Listen to me. There we go. Had a little bit of a connection issue, but we'll be back. The Emperor commands the land. And we can double spell with these ones. The butcher craves blood. Hey, Joy Boy. Behold our fury. No fear. Okay, what do we got? We got round four. Can't play anything right now. <laughs> no, it can't be worth doing that. Thought about it. We'll just save spell mana. Yeah, we could we could quick sand that thing. Finally, Azir, where are you at? Only 5 out of 13. Alright, I'll get the tomb and play instead. Sorry, Chronomancer. These spiders be going wide. This is kind of a bad having the tomb double marshal, right? Like, it did not get good blockers out there. The Emperor's favor upon you. Keep your distance. Mm. You and what on? So, the Pesky Spectre gave me a zero mana blocker. And we end up taking two damage. We're down to 28. I'm not, I'm not too worried about defeating Thresh, though. And then, of course, our life total will reset after Thresh. So I think that we'll still be just fine. 
All right, now with seven mana, we can do this. We can do a way of judgment if we want, but no. Let's just go ahead and attack. Send him, send him in there. Okay, we almost got him. They're down to two. We're getting closer. Barrier? Never mind. I'm a little worried about like the spell that puts like three spiders in play and busts up all your spiders. All right, cool. I ain't doing that. You seek an audience. Um, I'll take one. That's fine. We can go. We can be at 27. All right, and free attack. I think we'll get him this time. Let's go ahead and just go with the Arise first. It'll be a little bit more damage output. Just a little bit more, you know, just get a seven, another seven three. Okay, cool. First one down. <laughs> Inspiring Marshall and Azir quotes give me a PTSD. Wow, we got we got a good one. We got two good ones. All right, so the one the one mana units are like the most important, right? Like we we have the Yips, uh, Von Yips power. Both so both of these are good because we get a one drop, and then we can either have. Um, you know, Ruthless Predator or Doom Beast or Renekton or Nocturne. Uh, I think we would actually choose the Shadow Isles ones. I like the upside of the Onlooker, right? It's it's only one less power to begin with, but then it can have that plus two plus zero fear, so which is awesome. But I love the Doom Beast with the Drain. I like that quite a bit. I think I, I like that more than Ruthless Predator, and we don't really have a lot of challenge stuff anyway. So let's take let's take Nocturne. You think we should go Renekton for Mono Shirima? I mean, that I guess that is a thing. We could just have Mono Shirima, but we'll t we'll take. No I think Nocturne's going to be a better for us. I think that uh, the drain to that two health can be useful. For later, maybe we should have kept that four drop. But no, like we want, we want more ones. Get him! All right, we'll take that trade. Not bad. All right, so we're not gonna really save this for fearsome because I want to play it here, be able to block, and we can go with this here next round. Sorry, Doom Beast. I don't think they're gonna block us here. No. Alright, down to six. <laughs> um, okay. So yes, I could have gone Sandcrafter. But we'll go we'll double spell. Sorry, excuse me. We'll double spell and get that drain too. Get back up to twenty nine. We should just be able to open attack and kill them with the Marauder lethal and the um, Sand Soldier lethal. That'll, that'll do. All right, so we're back to twenty nine. Give it tonics like if you would take a Renekton, maybe you'd get a Sun Disk and the reinforcements. We got Lana Sharima. That'd be pretty funny. 
When I'm summoned, draw a card, Fury, or plus two, plus zero. I like the plus two, plus zero with the Azir, make it a three, five. I like that. Get a good three, five Azir. Make it a better attacker. Waking Sands. Next time you summon an ally this round, give it plus one, plus zero, and spell shield this round. Eh. I guess Waking Sands. Or some sandstone chargers. Not my favorite. But right there, you just get a random... Like, those spell reinforcements, you just get random spells throughout the entire game. You don't even have any powers on them. It's not a good uh, space to use a reroll. Because you're just... You could easily reroll and get three really bad random spells. Shark Chariot. See what we Maybe I'm supposed to send that Chronomancer back. Ooh. Round one, Black Spear. Alright, so I'll just play the two ones with having this Azir for next round. I probably should have sent that Chronomancer back. Not the Undying. Do not see what is. See what will be. Blue Sentinel, that's a great hit. From that Warden's Prey. <clears throat> yeah, that's a great hit. Now they can play Thresh next round. That's scary. We have them down to four, but I'm kind of running out of stuff. All right, they just go and scuttle, guys. All right, cool. We'll take the trade. Good job, Nocturne. And I should be able to open attack and kill them. Again, two lethal attackers. Maybe we draw Azir? No, nope, and get. I mean, why would I not play Dune Keeper and get two other really good attackers first? I can't really think of a reason not to. Like, yeah, so then. Okay. So that's game. I don't have any more mana. All right, cool. So we got three Thresh. We're gonna get a new power. Let's see what we get for our new power. What if we hit another Yips Genius? And we have double Yips Genius. That'd be pretty crazy. Y'all. Y'all, are you seeing this? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? We could get a round one sparring student with our Yips Genius. <laughs> Just kidding. Yips Genius! Double it up! Double it up. Okay, so reinforcement, select a spell. And again, do we just get we just get these spells? These aren't I guess maybe I don't know, Withering Mist? I know this could get us huge sand soldiers, but it costs seven mana. But then again, there'll be five fives. Fill your board with five fives for seven mana. All right, fine. We'll take up first divide. The drain, the double drain two, kind of appealing. But again, whenever you're just getting a spell with no powers, that's not a place to use a reroll. So you just have to bite the bullet and choose one of them. All right, get out of here, Chronomancer. Let's look for ones. I would just want ones in his ear. Well, that's kind of what we got. <laughs> Man, that that Marauder really is bloodthirsty. Uh, Mozart says, "Do you you know about Von Yip's lore?" I do not. Uh, 
Is there a thing as too many Azirs? Is that such a thing? Maybe I hold the Azir back. Okay. Von Yip has a really cool story. Okay. Yeah, I should check that out. A true Fragorian Emperor, you taught me to command the sands. I bestow the desert's power. They've had a pretty good hand. <clears throat> they have had a pretty good hand. Crumble. Dust on the winds. So this is the first of the three Freljords. Dune Keeper. So I could send the Sand Crafter in there. Yeah, might as well. If I do, I get another 5 5. Let's do it. Let's send them all in there. Even though the 4 5 can block the 3 2. Okay, they're not. Yeah, they'll have the 3-4 block it. Alright, got him down to 13, and they only have a couple of cards left. Cool, cool. There's a scent in the air. Uh, gross. Gotcha. Men die, but Sharif lives forever. Spears ready. All right, well, all of our Azirs are dead. That's not fantastic. Having... Yes, Emperor's Divide, let's go! Speaking of fantastic... What a great draw. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. All right, not quite game. But we they're out of cards now. Down to one. I can't believe we got a second Von Yip's power. We really need to look for more um, more one drops in our deck. Like more copies of Doomkeeper in particular. Oh, there's another Doom Keeper. Suddenly Ruination. <laughs> Just 10 powers to Geon Onlooker. That's pretty silly. Got buried in eyes. Okay, one and O oh in Freljord. Let's see what we get. Lissandra with Fury. I don't think I don't think I want a Lissandra. I think that Frozen Thrall will just take up space that I don't want. Siphoning Strike's always good. Let's take a Siphoning Strike. I've been always happy with Siphoning Strike in the labs. You know, that plus two, plus two on the champions is really important. But then plus, we're going to get the random one cost Poro, which remember, we'll get plus four, plus four. That sounds pretty good. I'll take that. Okay, so divide that whenever we cast it, we shuffle two more copies of divide into the deck and they cost one mana. Or waking sands cost one mana. I think this could be a re-roll. I don't, I don't know if I really want that Wooglitz Witch Cap. I think I need more ones and stuff. I think I think we're gonna go ahead and reroll. You you like this? You like extra divines? I kind of think it's more about like these other cards. 
Yeah, let's go and reroll this. Oh, I got so excited seeing the Marauder getting a power on the Marauder, but then plus, but ephemeral? Gross. We have zero mana quicksand. That can really help out against a lot of stuff. We'll just take zero mana quicksands. Alright, I'm, I'm in there for zero mana quicksand. Yeah, Divide's good, but it, the first one costs 7 mana, and if we're doing our job, like, we should hopefully have a whole bunch of 1-drops in play and everything anyway, like, where it won't be as good. Yeah, I like this 0-cost quicksand. I think that was an upgrade over getting more Divides. Pass. Yeah. Charima, your emperor has returned. So I guess I can't attack with Azir. Because Azir being three power with the Stephane, Scarthane Stefan blocking. Alright, maybe the divide's pretty good. So they don't have anything to give vulnerable right now, but... Oh well. <laughs> We're just gonna fill the board with 5-5s. Five fives. Okay, maybe that's pretty good. <laughs> There's a chance that filling the board with things that do 6 damage is pretty good, but so is that 0 mana quicksand. That 0 mana quicksand was really nice. Wow, that's a fast game. <laughs> and right right after Cirque was like, Divide will take forever to go online. Okay, maybe it doesn't take that long, but I'm, I'm happy with 0 mana quicksand. All right, this is a good reroll, right? None of these... Oh, man, but spell reinforcements? Man, I don't want to use spell reinforcements. I don't want to use my reroll on spell reinforcements because they're not that good. I guess I guess we could do Desert's Wrath. Heal, heal Nexus is important, and you just get two Sand Soldiers for four mana. I guess we could take Desert's Wrath with Heal Your Nexus 3. We could probably take that. That's not too bad. Okay. Okay. These two are great. So we can have the quicksand give me a one cost Poro, which again, you know, we'll have plus four, plus four permanently. That's awesome. Or we can have this Desert Wrath cost two. And have more of these and they only cost two mana. That heal our Nexus three and get us the, the two sand soldiers and the, and the plus one plus zero. Man, which one of these do I do? You think I do the Wrath? Instead of get like a 5-5 five, five Poro plus minus 4 minus 0 for something for 0 mana. Man, these are both broken. They're both so good. Okay. Alright, we'll go. You're saying... Alright, Mordecai saying Desert's Wrath. We'll do that. Yeah, so 2 mana. You get 2 six fives with Ephemeral. And heal three. I do love Siphoning Strike. I kind of want to keep Siphoning Strike. We need our ones, though. I can't mull against zero mana quicksand, can I? We need our ones. Good chance I'm putting too much faith into this Siphoning Strike. So, we will reset our Nexus after Sejuani. That's good news. 
Destruction feeds my fire. Um. I feel like if I play the Desert's Wrath, they don't attack. But if I play this, they probably still attack. Wow, they don't attack. I'm good. Behold the rewards of your service. Do not see what is, see what will be. Not looking good. I really should have kept that quicksand. I need I need zero mana quicksand. That was a bad decision while getting that. Faithless creature. Man, I can't believe I'm gonna lose this. <laughs> I I just made the worst mistake keep you know with the siphoning strike and So we know that they have Fury of the North. They're definitely playing Fury of the North. Like they're casting it to save Sejuani. For sure. Emperor, you taught me to command the sands. I bestow the desert's power to the feet. Leave no survivors. Man, I was way too overconfident in this. Why did I not keep the zero mana quicksand? Like, what am I doing? I'm not keeping that. Okay, this could still work out. Kill that thing. That was a great Poro to hit. Okay, so block. Block down to six. Could still work out. We get unspeakable horror. Next turn I have seven mana. I'm just thinking like do I want yeah, probably need probably want to keep this for a uh, for nightfall enabler. Oh, or we get that. Alright, looking like I didn't screw it up. Even though I tried. Okay, didn't screw it up. Woo! Okay, we're gonna have to be more careful now. These Piltover and Zon ones is where it gets really tough. That was close. That was close. If they just didn't play, like, them playing the the seven mana card that tapped him out, that had me win that. Trifarian Might? Okay, so Trifarian Might means every single Sand Soldier that we make just turns into a Thermogenic Beam, right? Because they're, they're ephemeral, so they'll die immediately, but they'll just take out the weakest enemy. So, like, everything just takes out the weakest enemy. And, like, all these one drops take out the weak the weakest enemy. So, like, unfortunately, because they're ephemeral, they'll die immediately. But none like Bloodthirsty, Doomkeeper, those things won't die immediately. Dude, that's a great power. Okay, now we can have. I could see using a reroll. Or we could go like probably Chain Vest over Quick Attack for a Zier. Probably, yeah, probably Chain Vest on a Zier. I think that's that's probably good. Chain, chain Vest a Zier is probably good. 
Yeah, we don't need to use a reroll. That's good. Okay, here we go. Here's where it gets tough. The labs. But man, we have double Yips Genius plus Trifarian Might. We have insane powers. Yeah, Mordecai says, unless you have the worst draw ever, you can't lose now. Okay. You, Sandswept Tomb, again, is, is auto, you know, kill stuff, but I'm not going to keep it. Alright, if I pass... If I pass, they play something, right? They're not going to just also pass. Yeah, they play something. See what we All right, that's not bad. <laughs> that's not bad at all. Oh man, this is pretty crazy. Let's make it oh no, now those are gonna be the weakest for me to strike. Lame. I will right, well, just play this Chronomancer instead then. I was gonna play a double one drop. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Cool, we get a Desert's Wrath. Alright, Azir, I'm gonna I'm gonna maybe wait on you, Azir. Let's play these things that just mow things down. Alright, again, they're ephemeral, so they'll go away, but that's <laughs> still pretty cool. Now they don't get to like block these things. Yeah, Action Karma together. Yeah, you, Action Karma can do some cool combos. That is true. It can do some crazy stuff. Karma decks are usually like that. Karma decks can usually do pretty crazy things. Okay, this is pretty silly. How good our deck is. Wow. I don't think I've ever gone through the Foundry and still, like, at 30 life. Wow. Like, you always take some damage against the Foundry. This is, yeah, this is completely insane. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do, the, we'll do the Azir draw card, because now with the la now that we're through the Foundry, with the Foundry you don't want to draw too many cards, but now that you're through the Foundry with the other two, you do want the card draw. So let's put the Philosopher's Stone on Azir. Because now you, you can possibly run out of cards against turret. Like, turrets can run you out of cards. And same with Victor. <laughs> Mordecai says, you almost have to do another run, because this is not a good guide. Because <laughs> their deck's too good. You're not exactly wrong. I don't even know, like, if I should be sending those back. Like, they're great, right? Like, having these is here. But look at look at how good these cards are. Uh, unfortunately, we just killed the O1. Love to kill Heimer instead. I am worried... Okay, I am really worried about this lineup still of, like, the guard bots. Because the guard bots, you know, they get really, really big and everything. Usually, you need to... Like, it's hard to kill them with damage. So I'm trying to say so I'm, I am kind of worried about this part here. But I'm thinking we have enough to take him out. <laughs> I'm not exactly wrong, but I am exactly right. I tell you, you know, these things are just removal spells now. They die immediately. Usually you have to run... Okay, 
Normally, you have to run these guys just out of resources completely. Or, like, run them out of cards. Okay? Usually, like, if you're struggling with Azir winning this battle, which you definitely can, don't actually attack very much. Usually, you, you need to just have them full on the board, and um, with them having a full board, then you... Uh, you know, then you just sit back and play defense and don't attack and have them run out of cards. That's the normal way to win this matchup. This is this is just completely insane what we're doing here. This is not the normal way to win this matchup. This is crazy. Double Yips Genius plus Trifarian Might. This is crazy. <laughs> the Lapsy Meezy. Alright, I'm gonna take Doomkeeper Spell Shield. The Spell Shield doesn't matter, but I just want more copies of Doomkeeper, because Doomkeeper is one of my very best cards that I could possibly have. Um, I mean, I guess double casting Waking Sands, though. That's kind of awesome. Okay, never mind. We're gonna get double casting Waking Sands. Oh, really? Mordecai said that one time I had double Von Yip power and then got the Poros where you get the free Poro every round. And yeah, so that then you, the whole rest of your deck doesn't matter one bit after that, does it? It's hard to send back free Quicksand. Alright, where's our ones? Ones. Okay, we got two ones. This is just crazy. You get a 1 mana 7 5 that also just deals 7 to the weakest enemy immediately whenever you play it. And I'm not going to play the onlooker because there's nothing for it to kill right now. Let's play Azir, draw a card. Draw a new Azir. And now, like, these <laughs> these Arises are like three mana... Three mana Vengeance. With, with you know, Fleeting make another three mana Vengeance in hand. Okay, we'll go ahead and shed it. This is the craziest run. Okay, so I'll play Chronomancer. Let them do whatever. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Oh, I guess you're only gonna be a 5-5, aren't you? You won't quite kill Victor. I'll have to play the other one to kill Victor. All right, two victors down. See, I couldn't couldn't quite have enough damage to kill them right there. I mean, I could have, but I didn't. All right, double waking sands. This is incredible. We're just not even close to taking any damage whatsoever. I feel like we should play Nocturne. We should have our other champion in play before we win. I think that's legit. And we need to level up his ear. And that will be game! Oh no, they killed my Nocturne! We didn't get to have both champions in play when we win. Well, that's too bad. 
Wow, what a finish through Piltover and Zaun. It is not going to be that easy all the time. That's for sure. <laughs> this was maybe the best deck I've ever had. That's just... That was just insane. Double Yips Genius Trifarian Might is just insane. Yeah, this is maybe the best deck I've ever had in any Lava Legends ever. Wow. And I almost messed it up with Sejuani too. With that Sejuani, I almost lost to Sejuani. I almost messed it all up. Crazy. All right, everybody. That's going to be it here for the Azir Legendary mode with the Lab of Legends. Absolutely insane run. Uh, those of y'all on YouTube, hit that like button. Feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this crazy one. Hopefully y'all enjoyed watching that slaughter. But that's going to be it here for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.